Congratulations, I commend you for taking action on improving your credit. Thank you for downloading the free debt stoppage letter. My name is Azim Sharp and I'm a certified FICO professional and I help people with credit issues boost their credit scores up to 129 points in just 57 days so they can qualify for credit without worry or hassle. I've helped more than 11,000 people across the nation fix and improve their credit so they can qualify for loans, reduce their monthly living costs by 25% and live a more abundant life. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to use this debt stoppage letter you downloaded to quickly turn the tables on debt collectors and prevent them from getting a single dime of your money. I'm getting ready to show you a tactic that's 100% legal according to the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act and it can save you thousands. Stick around to the end because I'm going to show you exactly how to use this letter you downloaded and I'm going to show you actual proof from my client Tanya in New Jersey that received a response letter from National Credit Systems, a collection agency who assigned, agreed to no longer attempt to collect the $7,200 alleged debt she owed. This was a big weight off her shoulders, but this happened just by using this one powerful letter you just downloaded. The Fair Credit Reporting Act gives you the right to challenge any negative account on your credit report or dispute any debt you have. If the debt collector cannot provide proper debt validation, if they can't show proper proof of the debt, even if you actually defaulted on the debt and didn't pay it, the debt stoppage letter gives specific instructions to the debt collector and requests that they provide proper proof of the debt. And if they can't provide proper proof, they can no longer attempt to collect the debt. So by using this letter, you can prevent things like wage garnishment and your bank account being levied so let's jump into the exact steps on how to use this debt stoppage letter and cover a few things you must avoid when dealing with debt collectors. So let's jump into it now. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for joining and continuing with the video. As I just told you, I wanted to show you and share with you uh, this um, cancellation of a debt from my client, Tanya, in New Jersey. She actually had a debt for $7,242. Here is the actual letter that she received from the debt collector using this letter um, saying that they would no longer try to uh, you know, collect uh, the debt from her. So as you can see, look, the balance it says $7,200.42. This is from National Credit Systems. It says National Credit Systems Inc. will no longer per pursue the recovery of the account at this time. We will request that any credit bureau um, listing made by the agency is um, in connection with this account be removed by or updated accordingly. As you can see, um, this account was removed. So the letter works if you use it. Um, and like I stated before, if the creditor or the debt collector or the third party debt collector being a collection agency in this particular case, if they don't have proper proof and we'll get into what proper proof is because um, them just sending your information over on their company letterhead is not proper proof according to the law. Uh, but as you see in this case, they had to remove the debt and um, not pursue her um, or try to collect it anymore. OK, so here's another case where I had a client. This client owed, if I can recall correctly, they owed about five thousand, a little bit over five thousand on this debt. And as you see here, this was with Ameriprise Financial. And it says, thank you for your recent communication requesting uh, information about your line of credit account. You mailed us a letter requesting that an investigation be done on this account. You also expressed concerns regarding the reporting of this account. Based on our review, we made the following determination. Ameriprise has deleted the account because we do not have information to support the current status reporting to the credit bureau according you know according to the credit bureau but as you can see this is a very powerful letter if it's used um, correctly um, and we're going to get into exact the steps that you need to take in order uh, to use this letter effectively <clears throat> okay here's another instance of the letter working um, I don't remember the amount of this particular debt, but the debt was canceled no matter what the amount was. 
Um, and again, it doesn't matter. I don't care if your debt is thirty thousand or three thousand or three hundred dollars. The same principle applies. If the debt collector cannot validate or provide proper, again, proper proof of the debt, and I'll go into what proper proper proof is, they can no longer pursue the debt, um, and you are not obligated to pay. And that's the law. That that's not something that I made up or I discovered or came up with. That's the law. But in order for the law to work in your favor, you got to utilize it. Okay. Okay, so there's three important steps in using this letter, and we're going to go over those steps. It's very simple, very easy to do, and I'm going to explain that in detail in this video. Okay, so number one, you want to edit the letter. Um, when you get the letter, um, download it, print it out, and you want to edit, or even, excuse me, before you print it out, you want to edit it and add your <clears throat> information to the letter, your name. You want to add the name of the creditor you're sending it to. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's very easy, but... It's a fill in the blank template, but the le what the letter says in the information in it, it's very powerful um, and it works. But you want to edit the letter to fit it to fit your information. Um, so that's very, very important that you do that. <clears throat> Number two, you want to address the envelope. You want to address the envelope. Of course, um, you know, you, we, we all know how to pretty much address the envelope. If not, if you haven't uh, addressed an envelope in a long time, you can find out how to do that online. But you want to address the envelope um, with the um, person that you're sending it to and your return address. Um, and I would suggest that um, you send this letter certified mail. It's very important. Um, so that way you have proof that the letter was sent. You don't want to send it out by regular mail. Okay. Um, and as I, you know, basically that's what I'm talking about here. You want to send it out certified. It's going to take you a little bit more effort, a little bit more time, you know, cost you a little bit of money, but there's a reason why you want to send this out certified. Um, and you know, you going that extra mile is going to save you thousands and thousands of dollars, but you want to send that letter out by certified mail and not by regular postal mail. OK, so there's a couple of important things that you need to know, um, because in addition to sending out the, the, the letters, the letter that you're going to send out, the creditors are going to attempt to contact you if they have not already done so. And there are things that you should not do um, when you're going through this process, um, because there are certain things that you can be held um, liable for and you don't want to say anything to um put yourself on the hook for that debt okay so there's certain things that they may say to you over the phone um and we're going to go over that in detail so there's a couple of important things that you need to know in addition to using this letter number one you don't want to acknowledge the debt you don't want to acknowledge that you owe anything because the burden of proof falls upon the creditor and not you i don't care if you had a fifty thousand uh, dollar vehicle i don't care if it was a home i don't care if it was a student loan no matter what the debt is the burden of proof falls upon the creditor and the law says that if the account cannot be verified and if it's not reporting accurately, the account can be removed. And then that third party debt collector, that collection agency who's attempting to collect that debt from you, they cannot collect that debt if they cannot provide um, proper proof. So don't acknowledge that you owe, owe the debt over the phone. Ask them to send you the proof. Don't say anything because many of those conversations are recorded. And again, you may be thinking, hey, well, if my car got repossessed and I owed money, then I know I owe them money. There's a difference between what you owe and what can report to your credit. And there are guidelines that these creditors have to follow. And as I showed you in those letters from uh, some of my clients that I don't care what the amount of the debt is, if they cannot provide proper proof, then they have to they have to stop pursuing you and collecting that debt. Um, so using these methods, you can save yourself thousands of dollars. So don't acknowledge that you owe the debt over the phone. Ask them to send you proof in the mail. OK, so, you know, as I stated before, they can't pursue you. They can't come after you. Um, if they do, they are violating violating the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. That is the FDCPA law. They are violating it. And there are things that you can do that I'll go over with you um, if they are pursuing you and they cannot properly validate the debt. 
So don't be intimidated by the debt collector. Do not allow them to scare you. Um, in that letter that you have that you downloaded, uh, it also will help you to stop all of the phone calls from them contacting you at work or on your cell phone. They can no longer call you. They can communicate with you through the mail, but they cannot pursue you at all if they can't validate that debt. <clears throat> so, and if they do, you're going to get some. Um, let's say if you have five creditors that you're dealing with, you have you may have four that are compliant and you may have one that's not compliant. And although they may not be able to provide proper proof, they may still try to pursue you. And if they do, there are measures that can be taken. You can actually sue them. Um, many of the FDCPA, Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, attorneys who specialize uh, in using that particular law, many of them will take on a case for no money out of pocket, um, and they will also win money for you. And whatever monies um, you pay them out of the percentages of the money that they, the monies that they win for you. So there is a strong likelihood if they do pursue you and they don't have just cause to, and they never provided you with proper validation, you can actually sue them. Um, and it's within your right to do that, whether it be the, the debt collector or the credit reporting agencies, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. Um, there are many consumers who have sued the credit reporting agencies and have won millions of dollars. Um, and I'm not telling you that you're going to win millions of dollars, but sometimes just a simple filing of a lawsuit will stop them in their tracks from um, actually pursuing you and committing illegal actions. Because many of them, um, they, they're very persistent, they're, they're bullies, and you have a law that actually protects you as a consumer. So one of the tricks that these debt collectors try to do is say, I'll give you an example. Hey, you owe 5000 here. If you make a payment plan, we'll take $1,500 from you. Um, just give us your bank account information or give us a debit or credit card. They'll ask you for that information. And you, you know, many times people will say, hey, well, wow, they're willing to knock off all of that. I'll go ahead and let me give them my banking information. I get paid on Friday. Um, now you're now that you've done that. Now what you've done is incriminated yourself. Once you give them a payment, you're admitting to the debt. Now, remember, they buy this debt for pennies on a dollar. So they might have purchased that five thousand dollar debt for. Let's say they might have purchased your debt for um, 150 bucks, and anything that they collect over that is profit for them. So they gladly take $1,500. And in many cases, they can't collect that debt um, because they don't have proper proof or proper validation because these creditors buy debt in bulk. So none of the paperwork or anything like that was transferred. So you don't want to give your bank account information because that $1,500 is something that you don't have to pay so therefore you know I I anything that you do pay you just you it's, it's just a waste of money and then remember once you pay it that it's actually going to stay on your credit for another seven years from the day that you pay it so don't give them your bank account information okay so this method of method of course can save you thousands of dollars remember it does not matter if the debt is for five hundred dollars fifty thousand or half a million dollars, the same principle applies. If the debt collector cannot provide proof, they cannot actually, um, or they should not be pursuing you to collect the debt. The problem is that many people really just, they just don't know what their rights are. They don't exercise their rights and they're fooled by, fooled by the debt collectors. So don't be fooled, don't be intimidated, and you wanna exercise your rights. Okay, so this is actually one of many steps, okay? So I've actually just showed you um, a step to stop the debt collector, right? Now, once you, once you engage in this and you uh, use this letter to stop the debt collectors, that's just one of the many steps, but sometimes you'll still have the information reporting to your credit. So in an effort to get that removed and to truly fix your credit and go from bad or so-so credit to excellent credit. There are other steps that we'll need to take, okay? So you want to, um, you know, take a look at everything and say, okay, well, 
even though I stopped the debt collector, my credit score is a 529. Um, and there's not really much that you can uh, do with that. So, um, you know, we, we've come up with a system and I've created a system uh, years ago called the nine step optimum credit restoration and score improvement solution. And as you can see here, it's actually a roadmap. Um, we have three different phases that we work in. Uh, check, challenge, and change. You know, we do a very, very serious microscopic credit check to find errors on your credit report. Um, over 79% of our credit reports have errors on them. And when you have errors on your credit report, the, the, um, you have a right to have those errors corrected. Okay, so although you may have defaulted on a loan, it does not necessarily mean that that debt can be collected. So there's a process. Um, let me just tell you, normal credit restoration in many cases doesn't work. Um, you know, there's a lot of credit repair companies out there, but normal credit restoration doesn't work. We've created a system that actually works um, and it's been proven over the almost eight years. Um, so we have a system and a process uh, that we follow to take you from uh, bad or so-so credit to excellent credit in just months. Okay, so our job is to take you from um, or show you what it takes to go from bad or so-so credit to becoming uh, or moving into what we call our champion phase. Remember, we have three phases until we move until you are moved into the champion phase. So credit check, credit challenge, credit change until you become a credit champion. OK, so, um, you know, you you want to work on your credit so that way you're able to get the things that you want and need for yourself and for your family. It's extremely important, extremely important. Um, of course, you know, there's nothing that you can do without credit. Uh, so your credit is important. I know that's why you're watching this video. I want to give you as much as as much information as possible to help you change your situation. OK, so what we're doing is we're you know, I'm putting on a free online event um, that I want you to register for. Um, and on this event, I mean, there's going to be some amazing, amazing information, life changing information. OK, um, I'm going to show you how to build your credit. Um, during this event, I'm going to show you how to um, get negative accounts removed. I'm going to show you what you need to do to um, get loans, um, all of those things. There's going to be so much information, so many resources um, given out uh, at this event, this online event. And the great thing is you get to watch it from the comfort of your home or your, your, your workplace right on your computer. It's a free online event. Um, I'm going to show you how you can raise your credit score from 129 points in just 57 days. I'm going to show you what you can do to get negative accounts permanently removed from your credit report. Also going to show you how to build your credit fast and get approved for new accounts regardless of your scores. Um, it's going to be a life-changing event. Um, there's going to be some great information. So again, you can click on the link below and register for the 60-minute webinar. And I promise you this. I promise you that this event will change your life forever. If you're ready to create the life you want and use your credit to improve your life and the lives of those who you love, your wife, your kids, you'll attend this webinar. You've all, you know, and I've already shown you, I've shown you how to stop the debt collectors, but there are other pieces to the puzzle. Okay. Um, this information that you're going to get for free at this event, many people pay thousands of dollars just to get this event, to, to, to actually get the information that's going to be at this event. Okay. Um, and hey, invite somebody else that you know who has credit issues and, and who would like to attend. This event will sell out, so you need to register uh, quickly. Um, this event always sells out. Um, we don't do it very, very often, uh, but we want you to take advantage of it. Um, and I'm going to show you how to go from bad or so-so credit to excellent credit in just months and how to get all of the cash and the credit you need and want. So register. Do yourself a favor register for this free online event. Um, you've already shown that you're a person that takes action. I can't wait to see you there and I'm looking forward to um, this event.